everybody, this is Gina. Welcome to the Firefly Studio 67. Um, today we are going to work on some projects using up those book pages that we've all been accumulating. And I just thought it would be fun to get on here and we'll do a, um, a little create with me um, and make some tags. So what I've got are the book pages, of course. And depending on the weight of the book page, you know, you're going to have to decide how many you need. These are th nice, thick pages, so two of these are going to be fine. And then um, we're going to do some decoupage with some napkin. And then I've got some images here that are from my porch prints, her bee kit. And I want to work those in. Um, to these tags as well. So let's get started. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is get these pages glued together. And I'm not going to worry too much because um, I will be stitching these so it's it's really just to hold it. And bearing in mind um, I'm going to run this through and cut out some tags so I know I'm only going to be using probably the center part of this um, page. So I so hope everybody's doing well today. I've really been needing to, uh, to make some more things up and so this is a great opportunity to start using up some of this stash and uh, get some things built up in my, um, for my ephemera for journals. Okay, so, let's get those glued. I'm just going to go ahead and do some decoupage. Um, now, this was a napkin that was gifted to me, so I'm excited to to have this. Isn't that a beautiful watercolor floral? <coughs> I love it when the napkins come off easy. <laughs> the backing on that, sometimes they don't, but that one's come off really easy. So I'm just going to use the um, Tim Holtz Distress uh, Medium on this project. You could use any uh, glue that, that you like. I'm just partial to this one. And like I said, I'm not going to uh, decoupage the whole page because I know once I cut that out, I'm going to lose a lot of that. So I'm just going to randomly put some of that napkin. That is such a pretty, pretty napkin. I think that's going to be really pretty for some projects. Because I love the florals. And those colors are so spring-like. The other thing that's nice about this, um, the collage medium, you don't need very much of it, and I just find it works really, really nice. Okay, I'm happy with that one. I'm going to set that to the side, and let these dry, and then we can run it through and get the tag cut out. You don't have to have a tag dye, but I've got them, and... Uh, so I tend to use those, but you can make them without a die, easy enough. Get a bit more. So what is everybody up to? Um, 
are you in the middle of some projects that are uh, that you're working on, or are you just starting some? Um, it's always nice to know what everybody else is up to. So do leave um, your answer in the comments for me, because I do read your comments, guys. Sometimes it might take me a um, it might take me a couple days to get. Uh, you know, get to them, but I, I read every comment that you guys post, um, and I always try to respond. Sometimes, you know, if it's if it's a lot of comments, I might not always be able to, but I do at least acknowledge, um, uh, I try to acknowledge everybody's comments, because I love it. I love the fact that everybody's um, starting to, you know, leave mess you know comments for me because it took me a long time to get people to um to interact and that's it's nice because um I like hearing what you guys are up to. I, I like to to find new channels. You guys know I'm always I'm always looking for new artists because everybody's got so much to offer. You can always learn something new. Okay, I'm loving that. All right, this one I may, it may cut off quite a bit of that. I don't know. We'll have to see when we run it through. Okay, guys, so to, um, what I'm going to do is let those dry, and then I will go ahead and cut those out um, so you don't have to sit here. I'm sorry about the noise. Um, so you don't have to sit here and see me try to drag the big shot over. I will stop the camera, cut these out into some tags, and then we will carry on. Okay guys, this is where we are. I dried those and cut them out. So that's how they're looking. And now I'm going to do a bit of stenciling on these. This is a uh, Prima stencil I picked up at the Hobby Lobby. It's got a very delicate um, doily design and I, I just love this stencil. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this around because I don't want to overdo the tag because there's, there's quite a lot, you know, with that pattern, there's quite a lot going on already. I love it when um, you can make use of book pages. There's something about it that, that feels really uh, satisfying to use these pages up in a project. And just a little bit up here. And I'm just using the um, vintage photo ink. <clears throat> okay, let's come along there. <clears throat> okay. All right, so the next thing I want to do at this point is I've cut out some of the um, Tim Holtz wildflowers. And I want to get these inked up a little bit and get those adhered. And that, then I'm going to run this through the sewing machine just to frame it out a little bit. And plus it'll secure that uh, those book pages together because I did not glue those very well. Just going to ink these up lightly. Okay. 
just going to get these glued down because I like to have a little bit of extra texture. And I always tend to put things on the left, but I'm going to try to, um, I don't know, it just comes natural to me to always put it to the left, but I'll try that one on that. Actually, this one I'm going to do over here as well because I don't want to cover that. That one's just beautiful, that poppy. Okay, got those down, and then I'm going to stitch around that, and then come back and see if we can put a few more details on there, and then these will be complete. <coughs> Okay, so you can see how they're, they're coming. I think that's really nice because it stands out from the background a bit. All right, guys, I'm going to go to the machine now and run some thread around here and frame that out, and then I will be back to, to finish these up. Okay, guys, I took this to the machine, <clears throat> stitched around it, and decided I wanted to go ahead and back it with my uh, tea dyed paper so I you know just attached it to that and ran it under the machine all in one go because I I knew that uh, I'd want to have a, a nice writing space on the on the back you don't have to do this you could just um, gesso the back lightly and then that would give a, a nice surface to write on but I had these left over from a project, so I thought well, it would be really pretty just to go ahead and back them. Okay, let's get those cut out quickly, and then we will move on. I find this easier. I used to cut these out with the um, the same die cut, you know, the pa the paper. But I find it easier now just to glue it to that and cut around it because it can be fiddly sometimes trying to line those up. Okay, at this point, guys, you remember the um, Arteza glimmer mist I made with the, their mica powders. I'm going to hit this with it, but I'm, unfortunately I'm going to have to lose the lighting on this side so I can plug in this heat gun. Um, so I'm sorry about that. Still working on trying to get my camera set up a bit better in here, and that includes new lighting, but uh, it hasn't happened so far. Sorry for that. I know it's very annoying to listen to that heat gun, but it has to be done. Okay, so I like that because it's just given it a nice little um, bit of shimmer, and I just think it's really pretty. Okay, guys, let's see. The next thing we want to do is 
I've cut out these little tags. This one I stamped, but that was just an um, extra piece of paper that I had from a project, so I just trying to use up all my scraps. So this is actually going to be get my linen thread here. I've had a couple people ask me if this is embroidery thread. It's not. This is um, Irish linen thread and I love working with that. So we're just going to do a little bow. On this and it is easier to do this before we get it attached and you'll you'll understand why. those back a bit, snug that up. Okay, and I'll cut off the excess here in a minute because I want to use this as the, um, like the tab, just for something a little bit different, so. Okay, so that's how those are looking. I'm happy with that. Now the other thing I did, I stamped on some muslin fabric, and you would need, just to show you guys, I stamped these up when I've got little off cuts of material. I just stamped these in advance, but you will need um, either stays on ink or um, Maybe a fabric ink. I don't. I don't know. I've always used stays on because it's permanent and that works for me. So I've done that. I just attached it. I had some extra bit of the tea dyed paper, and I've just run that through the machine, and we are going to get that adhered down there. And then we are nearly done, guys. Now this I'm going to use the 3-in-1 glue. That one's quite a large. I do love to mix the fabric with the paper. I hate to cover that up, but I'm going to have to. And the last thing I want to add to this, as you know, <laughs> is a bumblebee. And I've got, um, I am so sorry, I do not know who this come from. I think these were free images on uh, line. 
I cannot promise that. Um, I just don't remember. It's not one of my regular... Um, I may have purchased this from somebody on Etsy, but I cannot remember. Guys, I'm so sorry, but I love this little bumblebee. He is so sweet, so I'm just going to cut him out quickly, kind of fussy cut. If you don't know, I've had this question asked, what's fussy cutting? It's when you go in and cut, you know, really uh, detailed images out rather than just cutting around because you're trying to to just get the image itself and leave as little white as you can. I'm not great at it and particularly in front of the camera. <laughs> I, I'm much better at this at night because <laughs> I can sit down while I'm watching TV is when I tend to do this. But um, I knew I was going to do a you know, working with book pages, and that's, you know, I'm planning on several projects because we have got so many of these and we need, we need to be finding ways to use them. But, um, that's why I didn't have these cut in advance. I'm sorry that you had to sit there and watch me do that. So let me just ink him up lightly. I'm not going to do much because I want him to stand out. And then we Guys, if you're wondering where the third one had disappeared to when I took the break, I went ahead and did that. So that's how those has come, have come out, guys. I hope that <clears throat> that's been helpful. I'll show you up close so you can see. And then the back. Got a nice writing space there. And again, that's two book pages. Depending on, how, you know, if you have really thin book pages, then you might want to... Uh, add three or four, but these were nice, um, so two was, was sufficient, but I love that one because I'm partial to that, that uh, stamp. It's just uh, really pretty, so I'm happy with how those came out. So there you go, guys. There's another way to use up those book pages, and I'll be back again to share some more ideas. Take care. Bye.